G'day guys and girls, here we've got our customers 300C, 6.4 Hemi, this one has previously been in and had one of the stage 1 comp cams installed, this is actually our first one we ever did, um, we've done a YouTube video on this one recently on the build and um, quite good results, but like all the customers, um, they always want to you know, push it a little bit more and see what it does and our customers have been great and allowing us to look, do a little bit of development on his car. So we've now changed the camshaft out to the comp cams stage two. So the previous cam was the um, the stage one two two sorry two eighteen two two eight NSR comp cams, and that made three hundred and seventy four kilowatts and six hundred and twenty six newton meters, uh, which is pretty healthy. Now with the um, the stage two. We've gone, it's a 222-230 comp cam, and it's now 383 kilowatts, 651 newton meters. So, stand back here and get a better look at the graph. So, what you'll see is the torque. It's, it's actually, the biggest advantage is through the middle, mid, mid RPM range. So, 4,600 revs, 4,805,000. That's, that's been the biggest part where it's increased the most. Now, there is a reason behind that, and we'll touch on that in a sec, but... We'll have a bit of a look at the power line, and you can see the power line now, which is the blue graph, it's now linear the whole way to red line, which is like 6,500 revs, where previously it was reasonably linear, but then once you got into the middle, it um, had a little bit too much cylinder pressure in there, and then, you know, big engine, um, they've got a little bit of compression in them, and it just doesn't, that's an area where they're a little bit dead, and you can't run much ignition timing in there due to peak, peak knock, so... What the bigger camshaft allows us to do is it's bleeding off some cylinder pressure, which is great. And obviously through peak torque, we, that's the area that needs to be addressed. So if you remove cylinder pressure, that allows us to be a little bit more aggressive on the tune-up. So a few more degrees of timing, and obviously then we can start to smooth out the power band and, and, and clean up the torque line. And that's essentially what we're trying to do when we're tuning the car, is get a nice flat and open torque curve. And, th and that's what we've got now with the bigger camshaft. So, yeah, so if you're trying to work out why there's a bit of a dip here, well, the little camshaft, the little low camshaft, I should say, um, just doesn't quite give us enough cylinder bleed off. And the bigger camshaft just gives us just enough to add a bit more timing. And that little bit of timing makes a world of a difference in this engine and just gives us a much flatter torque curve. So if you come across to this screen, this is just a straight torque line. You can see now, you know, we've got a nice little mountain which comes up and over as opposed to this one here, which sort of comes up and it's like, oh, I've had enough and pulls away. And, and that's just because we're just at the limitations of the ignition advance. So, yeah, so definitely a better camshaft. Um, if you ask me which is the best one to go for now, I'm going to say the Stage 2, absolutely. However, if you do have just a, just a daily car, you don't want any lope out the back or anything like that, well, the Stage 1 is your best cam because you don't need to put springs in it and it's a good substitute when you're doing, a, doing the MDS delete. So, but if you're going to put some valve springs in it and do the job, you know, as you should do it, um, definitely the Stage 2 is the way to go. So, now a lot of research we did prior to this was that the Stage 2 cam actually loses bottom end power and torque, but... That's not the case here. We've done our own development. We've now just um, confirmed for our own eyes and our own sanity that, yes, the Stage 2 is better. Bearing in mind, this is all done on the hub dyno, so there's no tyre influencing or, you know, it, it is what it is at the end of the day. And, yes, the figures are slightly higher because it's on the hub, but these are accurate, repeatable figures. I can do back-to-back -back tests on this, and I get the same figure every time. So that's your Stage 2 versus your Stage 1 comp cam. Um... Yeah, hope you enjoyed this little video, guys. We'll see you on the next one. We've got a bit more development up our sleeves, but we'll, we'll keep posting as we go. Catch you around. See you next time.